Hello and welcome back to Spring Boot Tutorials. In today's video, we will be talking about Spring Profiles. Profiles are a core feature of the Spring Framework. It allows us to map our beans to different profiles. Spring Profiles provide a way to segregate parts of your application configuration and make it only available in certain environments. For example, you can have a test environment, you know, you want to run certain beans over there, but in production, you like to have a separate set of beans or you want to have a separate behavior from those beans, right? Because in test environment, you might be just using in-memory database, but in production, you like to hit the real database. So you'll be, you'll be able to control this, this behavior, right? Any spring bean marked with component or configuration can be controlled through a profile annotation. Okay, that, so we're gonna take a look at example over here real quick that you have a component bean, okay? You can say like, I like to load this component when my profile is equal to dev. Over here in your runtime environment, you will be seeing that. But when you run against production profile, that bean will not be loaded for you. Okay, so let's just jump to uh, code right away and uh, try a few things and, and just try to have a better understanding how this really works in, in um, uh, real world. All right, let's say I have a component, okay, uh, marked with rest controller annotation um, and it's basically printing some sort of system information, right? Max memory, total memory, free memory. Obviously, I do not want this rest endpoint to be available in my production application. Right? right now, if I run this application, build this code and, and put it into my production, this endpoint will be available. But as I said, we don't need to, okay? We do not want to put this in production. So how do I control this behavior? What I can simply do is, I can simply say at profile dev, okay? So what we are saying is, Whenever you see a dev profile or test profile, okay, um, you, you, you want to load this thing, okay? So if I start my application, another thing you have to do is then at, when you're starting your application, you have to pass your active profile name. Several ways uh, you can, you know, use the spring active profile um, uh, property. And just to show you what I'm going to do over here in my console, Okay, uh, let's clear that. And this is the command you need. You you gonna say mvn spring boot run, uh, skip test, spring dash boot run profiles equal to dev, right? If I run this, just to demonstrate what we are talking here, if I run this, my application is now running in uh, dev mode, okay? So let's jump to our postman over here. Where is Mr. Postman? It's over here. Okay, let's just copy this URL real quick. Open another tab and say v1 system dash info on port 8080. Okay, if I run this, as you can see, this information is now printed for me. Good, because I'm running with dev profile. Now, if I come back, let's kill this application, control C, and now pass prod profile because this is how you will be running in prod right you can say my profile is prod okay so let's say my application has started now if assuming this is this is production url if somebody try to access this endpoint they will not see it because it's saying 404 all right so this is how you typically control beans right using profiles another important thing which we need to notice is you can actually create separate application yaml files based on your production environment okay not only you can you know control this um, several things using the the command prompt or when you're starting your application you can also have a dedicated properties file ie application file which can basically you know give you different property values uh, based on your your profile all right, so let's just try that out. Um, so if I go to my application.yaml, so what I want to do is I'm saying whenever I run my application with dev uh, profile, 
my product should be prefixes with sample okay so i can clearly see like you know this is you know demo environment or this is a this is a test environment so i don't make mistake so what i can do is um there are two ways you can basically you know activate your profile one way is you can just have one application dot yaml if you put three dashes okay it creates another document for us okay how do you know this is the second document if you hover your mouse somewhere ah, this annoying thing okay if you hover your mouse over here can you see it says document two of two however if i go up i mean above these three dashes you can see it's saying document one of one sorry one of two so it means it automatically knows like okay there are two documents managed in this yaml file so this is one way of doing it you know when you want to quickly test few things second way you can do is you can create a, a file called application and according to spring you have to give dash and the environment name it doesn't has to be dev test or prod it could be any xyz as long as you know you can pass the same suffix when you're starting your application so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to put uh, let's create a application dash prod dot yaml so what i will be able to do with application dash prod yaml let's remove uh everything okay just to just to prove so now we don't have to say spring config active on profile dev okay because this is only needed when you are in in you know uh, same application dot yaml so what i can do is just to prove that it's really working even though we don't have to prefix in production but let's say this is prod right but when somebody is running with dev i'm gonna call it sample perfect let's come back to our application and how i'm going to consume this this uh, property from my application.yaml if you take a notice over here on product dao what i have done is there are several ways to load a properties file we'll probably try to cover in 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 some other video one way is you know you can create a properties file and you can make it as configuration you can specify the prefixes and spring will automatically load those properties for you okay and then you can inject that property file in in your bean second way is right within your component okay so this is my repository component right within here i have constructor based um, property injection okay i'm saying please load this property or value called products dot prefix and put it into this variable right okay and i've got this prefix and what i'm doing is when i'm i'm creating some sample uh, data i'm prefixing it with whatever my environment is giving it to me so let's try to play with two different profiles and let's see how it behaves at runtime so kill our application now let's start with prod profile first okay so my application has started let's go back to our postman and say postman uh, please get me products okay it got us products can you see everything is now prefixed with prod without making any code changes if i kill my application and let's say now you know i'm running the same code in some sort of dev environment what i need to do is i just need to change the profile name to dev let's start our application okay so if i now come back to my postman and i just refresh my uh, page can you see it is now prefixing with sample so without making any code changes i am able to control the behavior of my application at run time this is very powerful feature okay so the reason why you need it you might be arguing like no why 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 am i doing all these things thing is in enterprise world once your binary has been built you do not want to compile it for different environments because once you you know kind of make changes and and build binary and you say okay i'm going to make like you know two different binaries one for dev environment one for maybe production environment then you won't get the confidence that okay the same binary uh, you know uh, because might be kind of behaving differently uh, on different environments so to be confident to be you know assured all the time you just want to build once and then at run time uh, by using several run time properties profiles you like to control the behavior 
of your application. This is how typically enterprise grade applications are delivered. Compiled once and then you change the behavior at runtime. All right. So I hope uh, that demo is, is good enough and it explains um, how we can use profiles okay and how you can build several profiles we saw a couple of ways over here one is like you know uh, in within one application.yaml just using these three dashes you can keep on building as many documents you want second is you can create a file itself okay but but you just need to suffix it with the profile name all right so whichever way you you want to use it like you know this one is usually preferred okay then you can have like a you know, small small application um, dash environment dot yaml files because if you just have a one application dot yaml and you start putting things related to to environment it just can can grow so based on your your requirements you know how much data you have you can you can pick and choose all right i hope you like this session um code will be available on my website sagu.uk uh, thanks for your time please uh, leave a comment at the bottom um if if you're uh, not sure about something or you like to see something else in future Thanks again. Bye.